again to uh, my channel, a new vlog. Um, this weekend I was uh, participating with some friends the FS weekend event in uh, Lelystad and um, something I really was waiting a long time for is the um, release of the Honeycomb flight sim yoke. Um, I had the opportunity to um, get one here in the box and um, for you all I will uh, unveil the, um, the yoke with an uh, unboxing of it and uh, a review of it. Um, so yeah, please join me when I'm unboxing this um, beauty. So, first time I will put my camera down like this. I will open the box. I'm a bit nervous about it. I tested on uh, the yolk in FS Weekend, so it was a, a real nice thing to test. So it's a really nice box. I need to get it out. Ah, yes, yes. Put that down. I'm struggling with the box. Yes. So nice box. Camera a bit like this. Uh, how do you open it? Let's have a look. I think it's with so. This is nice. It's a nice box that is used to ship it in. Solid box. So we'll have a look inside. this first thing we have is the USB cable so that's an important thing we have some screws in the box and some yeah flyers and a manual I think that's for later on when we start to test this is the cable that will be fixed between the um, housing, I think, of the yoke and the, the yoke itself. So that's a nice cable. This is the plate to mount the um, yoke on the desk. It's very nice, solid piece here. This a round piece there is a strip that can be removed so I think it will be a kind of rubber that will stick on the desk we will have a look at that later anti-slip corners so yeah oh for this I don't know what this is we need to have a look for that okay Foam. Okay, in the box. What do we have in the box? Oh, we have some brackets here. So, some solid brackets. It's it's really, it's metal. So. Nothing is plastic. Okay, this is plastic, but this is metal. We have a second one here. The spacing is really big. That's, I think, important for some uh, wider desks. On the screw here on the top, I don't think you can see it very well. It's an, also an anti-slip, so that will uh, be yeah, good to fix 
underneath the desk. So I think the box is empty. Let's put that aside. And now, so as you can see, the oak itself. So here at the back, we have a nice cover. Here is a button for the front red LIDs. The uh, housing for the USB. Yeah, some screws to make it level, I think. Yeah, you can adjust it. Nice. So on the top, it's a really nice finish. It feels solid. You can see some screws here. So I think this will be used to mount some accessories that will be released in the future. Nice logo on it. Same here, nice logo. When we look at the front again, nice logo, very feels very soft, it feels very good. Yeah. Good food. It feels good, sorry. We have some buttons here, master, avionics, landing light buttons, coming down and up, starter. Nice solid metal rod, and you can really feel there is no. Let me put the camera beside for a second. There is no real center point, it's a very solid back and forward movement. Left and right, you can feel there is, yeah, it's, it feels very nice. Yeah, then if you look here, you have the um, connection for the, the cable I showed you before and you have the same connection here. So let's put that in, give me a second. This is this cable. So we will put that here. That's obviously for the connections because the connections for the buttons are not going through the center like in other um, yokes. So the center is just a solid rod that goes in and out. Um, all the connections of the buttons are made here via this cable like this so this is installed so we had already a look at the front here so at the yoke itself you have the pan view a button on top of it two different up down buttons for example for the electrical trim landing gear also a button at the back same white button on the right side, a big red button to disconnect the autopilot for example and then a left right divided button here. Yeah. It, it really feels solid. So, okay. Now we have a look on the bottom side. Oh, I see. I don't know if you can see, I will take the other camera. As you can see, here we have the screw, and here we have a big opening. And this will be like that. Okay, I see. I'm just curi curious where this comes in. Okay, let's have a look. Put the camera aside. So USB cable. Let's open the documentation. We 
have some there are no screws there are some rubber knobs I don't think of it. I don't I don't know for where it is but let's have a look we have the world of flight simulation Aerosoft yeah, of course Aerosoft is one of the big biggest companies that are um, selling the, the honeycomb yolk explain explain was mainly used to um, develop the yolk we have another yeah it's a, a flyer for some kind of company and this is a really nice manual you see it's they put a lot of effort in it i see so you have it in different languages you have it in english german and french so this is what it contains in the box so rubber cap six the manual the yoke internet cable usb cable the two clamps the mounting plate and the yoke itself so if we have a look at that so it's a 3m micro suction pad ah it's a suction pad but i don't i don't gonna use it yeah, the suction pad um so the plate is mounted like that here oh it just it just clicks in i think Let's have it. yes you don't need to fix anything you can just if you see here you have a, a little knob here of piece of plastic and then you just put this here like this and then you have the mount itself so if i'm going to install it on my desk it's gonna be like this have a really wide desk so thick desk not wide but thick like this we will have a look for the center yes i think we need to first to fix it Yeah, I think it's so it's really solid as you can see. I don't know for what the use of this, I, I don't know. So then I need to put this like that. Hmm. And then it like this yes yeah it's really solid i'm very pleased with that yes okay let's have a, a further look in the manual so if you can see just some text explaining what the yoke is and for the rest it's uh, just in the different languages and I think it's just a plug and play okay just let's have a plug and play so I'm gonna open this one here the only thing I see and where I probably will have a problem with is my throttle system of the um, Cytec because of uh, yeah normally it's one throttle system that is um, uh, fixed in the Cytec 
uh, yoke and one throttle system with a new USB, USB cable so I, that's um, something we have to look in detail later on let's have a look nice long cable it's a uh, I don't know if you can see but uh, it's a universal mini USB um, oh, how do you call it that is used to uh, connect the uh, back side of the throttle Correc correction throttle the yoke so I will put it in I don't know it's it in but it feels like a bit wobbly but okay so let's start with connecting it to my USB adapter That's a good sign. Okay, let's go back to the GoPro. Yes, as you can see, we have uh, some kind of connection. If I push the button here at the back side, you can adjust the um, brightness. It's very nice. You can see that's a small button on the back side. Yeah, nice. I don't know if I need to install some drivers. Yeah, it looks it looks really nice. If you can see. So the problem I have now is normally this one from my side take throttles goes into my SciTech yoke and this is a USB cable from throttle number two and this is normally uh, also connected in the throttle so I think I can use one and otherwise I will use my throttle system of my uh, um, joystick but that's something we will um, look into detail later on so as you can see everybody it's mounted it's a very nice and solid uh, cover it feels nice it's it doesn't feel like plastic it feels like yes like a, a kind of metal it looks nice it's it's a very solid mounting system for the desk that's really nice and but you will see it on the next video or Maybe not the next video, but I will um, put it behind all of this, um, the test on prepared VD, but it feels really solid. I tested it on the FS weekend and with the um, PMDG and when, when you take a left side or a right side, um, uh, when you want to turn left or right, it, it doesn't react immediately it's really it's it's with a little delay and that makes it uh, with regarding to flight characteristics uh, much better but this will be uh, shown on the on the next part when we if installed everything into a prepared 3d so um, yeah hope you um, enjoyed that first part and I see you in a few for the second part Hello, welcome in part 2 of this unboxing video slash installing video of the Honeycomb Flight Sim Yoke. In part 1 I explained everything that was in the box. Um, in part 2 I will explain everything uh, that is uh, concerning installing the software and key bindings for the prepared 3D uh, Flight Sim software I use. So um, you will see there is some time between the first part and the second part. That's just because um, it was pretty late yesterday. We came home from FS weekend, but I was so excited um, to see what was in the box. I started to record the unboxing video. So now after a good night of rest, I can um, start explaining 
what I did to install the software and assign some knobs to the flight simulator. So let me take you into my main screen and explain the um, steps I made to um, yeah, install the software and be ready to fly. So, as you can see, the first thing I did was surfing to the um, website of a Honeycomb, that's flyhoneycomb.com, to install the drivers. There is no um, CD-ROM, there is no um, USB stick, in stick included with software. The Honeycomb comes with the um, Xplane 11 software um, default uh, installed in the software, in, in the hardware itself. But if you are a prepared 3D user or a flight sim, um, a Microsoft Flight Sim X user, you need to download some software. So you can do that on the website, support downloads, and choose your downloads prepared 3D or Microsoft Flight Simulator X. After you downloaded the software, you will have an installer from uh, Irosoft. Just run the installer, it's um, self-explanatory, it will ask you to install the software in a folder of choice. So choose your folder, install, and have a look into the folder itself. So my software is installed uh, on my um, disk where I run my flight simulator, and the main folder is called a Honeycup. In this folder you will see a bin folder. And in the bin folder, you have the yoke input software. So the first thing I did was installing this software. The second thing I did was opening the yoke input software. Double click on it and you will get the key bind of controls. Um, how do you want to call it? Um, software to program everything you want. Each knob on your flight sim honeycomb yoke is programmable but it comes with the default software like explained so if I for example push the red button on top of the yoke you will see that it is assigned to the um, autopilot master key what I did to have no conflicts in my flight simulator because I don't use default key bindings I um, program everything with FSUIPC so the first thing I did was delete all the key bindings in this Honeycomb control software that I was 100% sure of that I will, would use um, to program into my aircraft and into prepared 3D. When I deleted all the software on the knobs I was thinking to use, I saved it into my own profile. So I saved it under Yuri, so each time I would like to change something, I can do it in my own profile, so I don't have to change anything in the default program. It's good to have the default programs. For example, if you want to use a key binding default and you don't know how it's called, you can copy paste it from the default uh, Honeycomb control key binds. So delete. That's what I did. I deleted all the knob software or key bindings that I was intending to use, saved it under my own profile and loaded that profile. After I did that, I went to my flight simulator, prepare 3D. I opened the options menu controls and I deleted all the key bindings associated with the alpha flight controls in the default key binding system of prepare 3d so every uh, single button and axis related to alpha uh, flight controls i deleted so i don't have any default programmed in the key assigns so let's repeat i installed the software i ran the software deleted all the key bindings in that software that from the knobs I was intending to use and saved it under my own profile. I opened prepare 3D and deleted all the default key bindings associated with alpha flight controls in prepare 3D. 
Now I am sure I am sure that every key binding related to do to default prepare 3D and default honeycomb are deleted. So there should be no conflict between prepare 3D and honeycomb now. You can only do these steps when you're using FSUIPC. If you're not using FSUIPC, you need to find a good solution between the default settings and the associated software with honeycomb. So after I deleted all the necessary knobs, I went to FSUIPC and I started to um, install the button and switches and accesses uh, of the assigned aircraft I would like to fly. Now I can explain every step I did to program this, but that would take me much too long to explain. So people who are used to use FSUIPC can, uh, they know what I'm talking about. So just um, hit an op, assign it to a specific um, assignment into the flight simulator and so on. So until every knob is programmed. If you would like to me, like to have me explaining how to use FSUIPC, please leave a comment down below and maybe I can make a video about um, programming FSU IPC. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it to that. So I chose to have to fly with the Boeing 747 PMDG and I programmed each knob I would like to use in that specific aircraft via FSU IPC. So those are the steps I did to make it work. So let's um, repeat everything in a fast tempo. So I installed the Honeycomb on my desk, plugged in the USB cable. So I went to the website to download the prepared 3D uh, drivers. I installed the software about honey, uh, for Honeycomb. I opened that software and I deleted all the key bindings related to the knobs I was intending to use and saved it, pretty important, saved it under my own profile. So the default profiles are still in the Honeycomb uh, software. After that, I went to Prepare 3D, deleted all the default uh, key bindings into the um, option folders. So there was no conflict between Honeycomb and the default Prepare 3D. And then I start programming FS UIPC. Those steps, it is important to know, is only for users who are using FS UIPC. If you are not using FS UIPC, it is the best thing you can do is to use the Honeycomb software together with the default key bindings. Pretty important to know, otherwise you will have um, a lot of trouble and a lot of frustration. So those are the things I uh, did uh, for um, programming everything into the Honeycomb. And uh, now it's time uh, to start flying. So I see you back in part 3 for um, a test flight with the uh, Cargolux 747. So, welcome in the flight deck of this PMDG Boeing 747-800 and uh, the only thing for me now is to show you that the axis of the Honeycomb uh, flight simulk is eventually working. So, how can I show you that the best way is to show you the um, Flight controls check. So we are going to do the flight controls check. So I will have flaps 10 set and indicated. And now we are going full forward, fully left, fully right, backwards, and the rudder is left and right. So as you can see, the axis on the honeycomb is working pretty fine. It feels really solid. It feels really good. There is no center indication on the yoke, so you don't have 
uh, center jump when you go forward or backwards it feels pretty solid so I, I like it a lot the only thing I am having issues with is the assignment of the uh, lights here on the bottom of the yoke but this is a software problem in FSU not in FSU or PC but in Prepare 3D and in um, a PMDG that I have to solve but I'm pretty sure that will work um, when I go into depth but for now I'm um, pleased because all the knobs on the yoke itself is are working very fine so um, the only thing for me is now fly the aircraft and enjoy this uh, wonderful yoke and um, to end this video I hope that you liked uh, this unboxing slash installing the honeycomb flight sim yoke if you like the video hit the thumbs up button be sure to subscribe to the channel um, it means a lot to me and the biggest thing I thanks I can get is uh, you subscribing to my channel hit the notification bell to be notified for upcoming uh, videos and yeah leave a comment if you have questions about the flight sim yoke but flights in real life or you would like to see some com content I will make for you leave a comment down below and I'm sure I will um, answer all of them uh, personally so um, yeah like subscribe and for the rest be small think big and see you on the next one bye bye